if you are using large language models and other generative AI tools, then one thing I would suggest is to not to ignore the security and risk side of things. LLMs operate on huge set of data and mostly you are not aware of that data set. Plus, whatever data you are feeding into LLM, you are sh not really sure what LLM is doing with that data. Plus, the responses you are getting from LLM should be vetted. So how do you do that? What is the process to formally and properly testing the large language models and their output in a proper way on some benchmarks and yardsticks? This is where various tools are appearing and one of those tools is Giscard. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to Giscard and also how you can embed this to test and validate your LLMs. Giscard is simply a Python library that automatically detects vulnerabilities of AI models from tabular models to large language models, including performance biases, data leakage, spurious correlation, spurious means fake, hallucinations, toxicity, security issues, and many other things like psychophancy, and the list goes on and on. It is really a powerful tool as far as I have seen in few of the demos, and it really helps AI engineers, data scientists, and all the professionals who are working with generative AI to save time and effort drilling down on model issues. So if you're even building a model, then if you use Giscard, it will tell you early on the issues related to those models, and then you'll be able to produce more reliable and trustworthy models, and that goes a long way. Okay, that said and done. Now, let me show you how you can use this Giscard with your models in the code. Everything is present in this GitHub repo, so don't worry about copy pasting the code and I'll drop the link in video's description. They have provided a really good Google Colab notebook, which you can access from that GitHub repo. So first of all, you install this Giscard with LLM because uh, you can install it with other models too, but let's check it out with the LLM. And then they are installing OpenAI, TikToken, and Langchain because that is what being used in this demo. If you are using any other model which you want to test simply replace these dependencies with your own model such as transformer and like and then you need to specify your open ai api key which you can obtain from their open AI's website once that's done in this code it is creating a model with langchain i have a, another video where i describe in great detail as how this is done so but just to give you a very very high level quick idea all we are doing it we are importing some of the libraries then we are specifying one of the data file and we are using py pdf loader to load that file we are splitting it by using this files and then from there we are specifying our prompt template and we are asking it to act as a climate assistant and then we are asking a few questions around it that's done and then we are using gpt 3.5 turbo instruct from OpenAI as a model, and this is the model we are going to test with Giscard. We are passing it our prompt, we are creating a chain out of it with retrieval QA, and then we are passing it a prompt to make sure everything works. So until this point, when you pass this prompt, is C level rise wordable to your uh, GPT 3.4, 3.5 turbo, it should return you the response. So until here, everything looks good. Okay, now let's, detect the vulnerabilities in our model as per our data set with the help of Giscard. So first, we already have installed it. So let's import Giscard and also the pandas because we are going to use it. And then once that's done, we are just creating a simple Python function around the model just to pass it the question which we passed mentally earlier. And then we are wrapping um, Giscard around this model by just um, giving it the model, model type, we're just doing text gen and then just give it a name and description and that's it and the feature whatever you have put it in here okay that's done and then let's you can test it with simple example if you want you can uh, skip this step if you if you don't want to do it that is fine and now let's scan it to scan it only there is one line required giscard dot scan so you scan the giscard model with this data set and model 
and then we are only scanning it for hallucinations and you can omit this or you can put another values so on the output you can see that it is running the scan and then it is giving you the report if you want to see it in the visual display which is very very cool simply say display report and this is going to tell you that okay it has found two issues one is major one is medium major one is around psychophancy that model produces incoherent or hallucinated output whereas uh, the medium one is a controversial output it may or may not be proper click on show detail so you can see that this is example it has given the description uh, description around it and then it has given you the outputs and inputs in different formats and the best thing is that it is also giving you the reasoning that for example in this when it is telling us the model provided inconsistent consistent answer in first output it stated that the global temperature will rise by two degrees and then in the second output it suggested that global temperature will decrease by two degrees so it is quite a contradictory and inconsistent response so this is how cool and easy to use Giscard around your model uh, evaluation or checking the risk and biases and issues with the output so i hope that you enjoyed it if you have any questions uh, or if you're already using it please share your experience in the comments that would be awesome and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much